What's up fellow LEGO fans, DJ LEGOs here and today I'm taking an unsponsored and honest look at a 2023 LEGO DC set based off the 89 uh, Burton Keaton uh, Batman film. It is the Batmobile Batman vs. Joker, it's set number 76224, it's recommended for a building ages 8 and up, comes with 438 pieces, and I paid its standard retail price of approximately $48 here in the US, uh, but without further ado, let's start deconstructing the set and seeing how it stacks up, starting as always with the main figures. So first figure we're going to take a look at is of course Batman uh, in his 89 suit. Uh, first thing you're going to notice, uh, we do not have that uh, specialized piece that got introduced for col the collector's sets uh, back in 2019 uh, where it was one entire piece, uh, the cape and uh, cowl, all one big rubbery piece. Uh, instead we do get a cloth cape and a uh, regular back cowl, which is new for the uh, 2023 release season. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute, but um, overall, uh, looking at his accessories first, uh, he does come with a battering, of course. That's the same standard battering we've always gotten. He does come with uh, this nice little build for his for the uh, 89 version of his grapple gun. Uh, however, it's a little inaccurate. Uh, this uh, golden arrow piece is supposed to be kind of in there. Uh, so the tip of the arrow uh, is uh, showing for the bit of the grapple part, but it is built like that uh, for ease of uh, kids disassembling it uh, to fit in one of the play features of the set. And you also do get a pair of handcuffs here in black. I mean, this is not accurate to uh, the movie, but uh, you know, uh, they want to give something for kids to play with. Uh, getting into the actual figure here, uh, you do have that new cowl, uh, which is pretty much the exact same one. Uh, that we got for the short ears. It's just the white eyes are finely uh, molded into the actual cowl. It's uh, dual molded. We saw that with Captain Marvel back in 2020. Uh, it's just finally nice to finally see that with uh, Batman here. Uh, so we don't have that awful uh, sports headband uh, for the white of his eyes. So we actually do get a normal face for our Bruce Wayne's finally. Uh, however, uh, this is a reused element. It's the uh, Kaz from the Star Wars Resistance line that's been reused uh, to death, but it does work. Uh, I mean, it does look like Michael, Michael Keaton uh, as he appeared in the 89 film. So I uh, understand the reuse here and it does look pretty nice with the cowl on. Uh, talking about the torso here, uh, it, it is really accurate to the film. Uh, you do have the nice um, bat logo and everything. Uh, however, uh, my copy, uh, the yellow is kind of a little bit dull, not really appearing that way on the camera. Uh, same with the belt, but uh, that that logo is actually really cool because they actually got that little detail about the actual the uh, extra little things on the wings that's actually on the uh, bat suit if you didn't know uh, but you do have the utility belt you have the nice details of the armor I'm printed uh, black legs but it's fine because he doesn't really need it and then it's the one uh, whole uh, cape so uh, does lift up pretty nicely and you have back torso detail of uh, all the stuff and of course 89 films so we do get uh, Jack Nicholson's Joker here as well and uh, starting off uh, he has no accessories I'm kind of disappointed with that I would have liked to have seen any of the number of accessories uh, Jack's Joker came with uh, in the movie so little miss there but uh, speaking of uh, finally stuff that we should have gotten a long time ago we finally got the uh, Peter Venkman Doctor Who hair and a regular uh, comic booky green uh, color for Joker so 
that's really nice uh, we've been asking for that for a long time so i'm glad to finally see that here so uh hopefully we get comic book jokers with uh that hair that looks really nice the face is also new for uh, 2023. Uh, it's not Jack Nicholson's face or likeness. I suppose they couldn't get the uh, likeness right. So, uh, apparently Nicholson signed a really lucrative deal uh, with uh, when he originally signed up to play the character. So uh, Lego might not have gotten the um, likeness for him again. Uh, so that's pretty up much a miss but it does look really nice it still looks like the joker so and his torso printing is also really nice it really looks like the costume uh, jack wears in the film so it's really nice there uh no uh, leg printing then flipping around the back you do have some nice uh back torso printing of that jacket uh, that he wears and uh with this new joker face unfortunately there's not an extra one so that's another miss uh, with this face however and a uh, couple of the other sets he does wear a hat so I guess they wanted to you know make a face that could be worn either way so apart from the figures uh the main bulk of the build here is of course the 89 batmobile now if you're worried that if, if it's the exact same as the one that's included in the 400 dollars bat cave that got released earlier this year uh outwise it appears to be the the same uh there are a substantial amount of differences uh you do have uh, these uh, little stub pieces sticking out of the back wheels uh, this entire area is completely differently built uh, some of the back here uh, with the cockpit is also uh, very differently built and the interior is also very different so uh, that is mainly just due to uh, even the fins back here are differently built that's just due to uh that one being more of a display piece uh for builders uh this has to be durable uh for kids uh just grab it back here uh the ones in the big cave are clipped on uh these are much more built into the back here so uh it's a lot more sturdy if a kid grabs it from this and just drives it around um so uh that is pretty much it uh otherwise this does look really good uh as the actual uh batmobile here uh the only really downside here you have this big gear uh, that's just due to one of the play features uh included in the set here uh so uh that is also on the big uh, model as well uh, interestingly enough the uh, gray stud here on the big model it's one stud forward so uh, difference in design uh, back you have the nice little thruster here uh, with the big flame you also have a nice sticker panel uh, right there uh, that is actually kind of hard to get into but you open it up it's a little uh, trunk for Batman and that's why the uh, that's why the grapple gun is built the way it is so you can put the handcuffs in there and you can put the battering in there and of course like I said you can also put uh, the grapple gun that's why it's built the way it is uh, so that can easily fit that close back up and that's also pretty nice um, uh, to get in the cockpit here it's also pretty simple it, this all just lifts up as one piece uh, it's pretty nice uh, getting in there um, it's kind of hard to see uh, but you do have a couple stickers on the side uh, for some, the controls you have a very nice sticker on the front as well for uh, some of the controls there as well and you do have the nice build for the steering wheel you actually use uh, one of the uh, smaller wheel pieces in there uh, just to uh, get the unique shape of the uh, steering wheel of the Batmobile uh, but Bruce uh, Batman here fits pretty nicely uh, there's no studs in there so he just uh, slots in there pretty nicely and 
uh, getting them out is kind of a pain uh, so that's but it is pretty easy to do uh, it's just a little bit of pain that's also probably why they uh, give them the spongy cape as well you also do have that uh, newer uh, windshield half piece used as well so fitting that back on you uh, he just fits snugly in there. Uh, the other main play feature of the set I already alluded to. The other uh, play feature I alluded to uh, with that gear, you just turn it and uh, these two panels pop off and uh, the machine guns of the Keaton Mobile just uh, flip up. I am surprised uh, they didn't turn these into stud shooters for the play model for the kids. Uh, they're the exact same build as uh, that big model, but you uh, it's fairly easy to reset. And if you have them down uh, in there, uh, it, it kind of blends in really nicely. I like how the designer built the, this area. It kind of uh, hides them, so they kind of look like they're part of the engine detail. That is a really nice uh, design on uh, the LEGO designer's part. Uh, so I really appreciate that. They could have uh, made it a bit more obvious, but uh, that is some nice design techniques that they use there. And uh, the last play feature to go over is the flame here. Uh, it's attached to the wheels, so as you spin the wheels, uh, the back flame spins. So that is uh, pretty cool. That recreates uh, an iconic part of the 89 Batmobile. Uh, so that is uh, really nice. I'm really glad that they uh, fit that play feature in as well. So here's all the extra pieces you can expect with this set. You do get the battering, of course, and then just a smattering of other uh, slopes and tiles. So looking at the instruction manual, you do get a pretty sizable one uh, for this. For some reason you got the lego logo uh, the render of course everything you come to expect with the newer instruction manuals qr code in the corner uh, but you can use that to uh, uh, get insider points now so i'm covering mine up you do have the little blurb about the uh, paper bags that are slowly being moved into the sets uh, you do have four bags uh, for this build you do have batman without his cape uh, sporting the progress bar for some reason um, does take 121 pages to build the set as well as you just get the parts inventory at the back here no cross cells or anything and then you do have the product feedback thing on the back with the pirates pointing at so taking a look at the box that's a typical $30 size you got the Lego logo there you got the 89 logo there as well uh, you got a nice park shot of the Batmobile uh, on a Gotham City Bridge for some reason. Uh, Joker uh, fleeing the scene. Uh, Many figures down there in the corner. You got the nice Lego fied uh, Batman um, 89 there. DC uh, set specs, all that. Top to box, you have Joker spoiling the actual size reference. Uh, and then back of the box, you just have a nice little play scenario as well as showing off all the play features of the set. So going into my final thoughts, I said the build overall was enjoyable. And again, I thought it would be more of a copy paste job from that $400 set, but it's not. It's more builds uh, for kids to play with rather than collectors, but collectors can enjoy the set too. Uh, didn't really experience too much problems there. Uh, little nitpickies of like the gear being on exposed on one side that that's a little bit egregious but that is still just nitpicking um they have to have that there so uh kids can have something to easy grab to activate that play feature so um that's not too bad uh minifigures i would have for the price that you're asking for, the, for this set, uh, Joker and Batman are pretty standard here. Uh, considering that every single Batman, Batmobile, aside from the Pattinson version, has had uh, Batman going against the Joker. So that's pretty standard here, but for the price they're asking for this, for this set, I would have loved to have seen a um, third minifigure included like Vicky Vale or something uh, maybe one of the Joker's henchmen's like Bob 
Bob, you're my number one guy. Maybe him or something. Uh, quality wise, uh, some of my uh, uh, windscreen pieces, a little bit scratched up, but not too noticeable. Uh, that's just because of the plastic that I've changed to. And uh, the yellow on Batman's torso is. Uh, it's pretty good, but it's not as vibrant as the box advertises it to be. And oh, that brings me all to the price that they're asking for the for the set in the U.S. Uh, Forty-eight dollars. That is that is insane to me. Um, what? First of all, why forty-eight dollars? Uh, just make it fifty, or. 45 not making an even number uh, it's just and on top of that you're asking nearly $50 for a set that feels like it's a 20 to 30 dollar uh, for the part count I would go 30 um, and at 30 I would expect another minifigure so um, not Keep too keen on that price, so I heavily recommend buying this uh, at a sale, uh, twenty percent off at least. Uh, if you can find it for cheaper, I get it. Uh, it's definitely worth purchasing. It's just not worth that forty-eight dollar price tag. Uh, so all in all, uh, set does get a nine out of ten for me. That's just how the the set is so good. Uh, it's just for the price that they're asking. It's just a little bit too much for me uh, So uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think about this set? Uh, is it worth that price to you? Uh, comment below. Let me know uh, and I will see you in the next video until next time stack on